hello everyone and welcome to this new youtube video so in this video we're going to be creating a tic tac toe game as is uh, in the title so first of all uh, i just want to say that no matter if you're a beginner or a intermediate programmer or an expert programmer i encourage you to watch this video because uh, you're going to you're not going to waste your time watching this video i'm going to explain a lot of uh, stuff uh, regarding programming and game creating in java so uh, let's just start this video of course i haven't uh, i haven't actually made the game before so i'm going to be making it with you step by step and showing you how to make games in general and uh, especially chick chak show in this video so first of all you have to create your project and i'm going to be using netbeans uh, ide let's just start by creating a grid so as you as you know there's uh, like uh, a grid of positions in the chick chak show game and uh, it's like uh, nine positions so it's a uh, 3x3 uh, a grid so let's just create that and uh, uh, we're going to use uh, going to create an array of ints like let's just start creating so int grid and it's going to be t an array inside an other array so a 2d grid if you if you can call it that so it's going to be created like this and then uh, so I'm not going to uh, specify how many elements are in the grid we're going to create it uh directly so let's just start let's just open like this and then let semicolon uh, i'm not looking at the keyboard so it's my position is not that uh, comfortable so i'm missing some keys okay so now we're going to create our uh, three rows and columns like this let's just create another array like this and then we're going to uh, specify. Uh, we're going to link ev uh, each number to a uh, to either X or O or empty or nothing. So I think it would be better if we uh, link zero to O and one to X and two for nothing. I think that uh, I mean I like to do it like this. You can uh, do it any way you, you like. Any other way, it just you have to be consistent in the numbers you chose for each uh, for each possibility. So first of all, it's going to be uh, an empty uh, grid. So it's going to be so every position is going to be empty like this. So two, 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 and then we're just going to uh, copy and paste this. Just select and paste it like this. So it's a grid of three columns and three rows. And uh, here we're going to separate these uh, arrays okay so like this we have a grid of uh, the, the game you have the uh, board there's this uh, positions the nine positions and they are empty they are all empty and if we want to change like uh, maybe uh, this one to zero now this is O. and let's say we, we change all of this to the zeros now this is a winning position for O because as you can see there's a line of all O's but uh, this is impossible because not, none of the others are uh, X's they are empty and uh, you know that uh, uh, every time the O chooses a position the other uh, player which is the X chooses uh, it's it's his turn so he's got he's gotta be he's gotta choose something so maybe let's make it more believable so if uh, O starts let's say he choose this position and then X choose this position and then O choose this and then X choose this and then O choose this this is a possible position but that doesn't matter because uh, we're going to make a system that uh, checks all this stuff and uh, doesn't let something like this happen so let's return everything to normal so now we're going to create a G frame that we will draw the grid in and every time we update the grid we update the G frame and then so everything in the uh, front end if you can like call it that will match everything in the back end like uh, uh, this grid is going to be the main thing the main uh, core to our uh, tic tac show game and whenever this ch grid changes the, the 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 screen needs to change the G frame needs to change according to this grid okay so let's create a G frame 
like the other videos and if we're not going to create uh, be using the graphics card because this is a really simple game so we're not going to be creating any libraries or uh, we're not be using any OpenGL libraries or any libraries that uh, control that are for uh, like uh, professional games and games that require graphics cards like uh, direct access to a graphics card we're, go we're just going to be crea creating uh, this game using vanilla Java without using any external libraries so G frame uh, let's call it frame equals new G frame let's just import this now we're going to create uh, we're going to specify the uh, the specifications of this uh, G frame so frame let's uh, set the position or the location of this frame we want it to be in the center so set location this is uh, yeah so set location relative to null this line will just make the frame in the center of the screen no matter the other like it uh, doesn't matter uh, the width or height of the frame it's going to be in the center of the frame now we're going to specify the width and height so uh, if you want if each uh, column to be each cell or if you can call it the if uh, we want to each cell to be uh, a 100 x 100 we're going to ha have to make this frame uh, 300 in width and uh, 300 in height so let's just do that so frame dot set size 300 okay 300 and uh, when we close this frame we want uh, the program to exit so you have to specify that as well so set close such a default close operation yeah so this is uh, something in java so maybe if you want if uh, you create a frame in another program you, maybe you don't want the program to exit when the uh, frame is closed uh, maybe uh, you want that for uh, another program but in this game we want the game to exit the program the uh, b the process and the windows to uh, to be finished when we close the frame so we're going to set this to G frame dot exit on close so this will make the uh, uh, program uh, finish uh, processing when the frame is closed now we're going to set this frame to set to set the visibility to true so we can show this frame true now let's run this uh, program to, sh to see how what we have so as you can see there's a frame right here but it's not exactly in the center of the screen so it's just uh, I don't know about that it's just um, hold on a minute yeah maybe we want this uh, set location relative to to be under the set size because we change the size after that thing so this is uh, more uh, true more uh, correct so let's just run it again now as you can see it's in the center of the screen so now what we want to do is uh, start showing stuff on the screen and to, to do that we need the G panel so to create a G panel you just do this G panel and let's call it panel simple and G panel okay no G G panel Yep, and it's, it's going to be imported uh, automatically. And in this G panel, we're going to do something uh, additional, which is open these two curly bra brackets. Yeah, I forgot the new. I don't know what's uh, wrong with me. So now let's, uh, yeah, let's override a function which is called paint. This function, so to override a function, you need to write the uh, uh, you need to type something like this and here the, is the name of the function you want to override so let's just remove everything so everything in this uh, block of code between these two, two curly brackets is going to be the things that show up on the screen using this graphics variable so if we, if we start using this variable so maybe uh, as you can see there's all these functions that you can use these methods to draw stuff on this G panel which we uh, will yes we have to add this G panel to the frame so everything so shows in the frame so frame dot add and then panel 
So this, this way everything that shows on the panel sh also shows in the G-frame. Now uh, to control this, as, as I said, we need to use this graphics variable. So G, as you can see, there's these, uh, all these uh, functions to show stuff on the screen, like this uh, draw polygon, which is just uh, drawing uh, shapes on the screen. Draw image if you want to show an image, and uh, we will use this function because we need the X and O images on the screen, or we can just uh, draw string. Yeah, we can draw strings of O's and X's. Where is it? Uh, yeah, draw string. So you can specify the string and the X and Y and uh, everything here. Uh, most of these things here require an X and Y and uh, maybe width and height, like this uh, draw. Uh, let's just draw rectangle. What is it? Uh, draw rectangle. That, uh, this is the uh, this draws a rectangle on the screen. So you have to specify the x and y and the width and height of this rectangle. Or you can fill a rectangle, which will fill the whole area of the rectangle uh, that you draw using x and y and width and height. There's another another thing as well, which is the color. So if you you call this uh, function set color, you can specify the color that you're drawing stuff with. So um, let's just make it uh, black so for the background. So if we did this black and then we uh, fill the whole G panel with this, uh, so with this with the, this color. So G dot fill rectangle and then to fill it all we need to specify these things 0 0 the x and y and then the width is 300 which is the same of the frame 300 and the height is 300 as well now if we run this program as you can see everything is black as we uh, set it now we can start drawing so you have to leave this uh, like this so every, every time we repaint the g panel it's going to set the background to uh, black this is important because if we don't do this uh, then every time we repaint uh, things are going to be on top of each other and it's going to be messy so now we have to draw the grid as we said earlier uh, but before we do that, we need to also draw the borders, the uh, grid lines that uh, specify that show the, the grid, uh, uh, that show the positions of the grid. So let's just uh, create, st start uh, filling rect rectangles. So first, uh, fill rectangle. So the first uh, line, uh, if you can, uh, the first line of the grid is uh, we're going to make it. The x of it is going to be a hundred, or let's just make it uh, ninety-five, and the uh, y is zero, and then here we're going to make it ten, and then here we're going to make it three hundred. What this means is uh, this rectangle right here that we're filling is a line, as you can see. So the x of it is going to be ninety-five, which is almost. Uh, almost uh, the width of the first cell so it's going to be drawn at the edge of this cell minus five uh, pixels and the y is going to be on the top so zero it's going to be on the top of the screen of the uh, frame and the chain is the width of this uh, line or rectangle so it's chain we want it to be thin in width and it's going to be, we want it to be as long as the frame goes, so 300. Okay, let's run this. Okay, nothing happens, and that's because we didn't specify the color, so the color is still black, so everything is black, you can't see anything. Uh, what we need to do is uh, change the color, so g.set color. So if we m keep it like this, if we keep it red, color this red, we're going to, uh, to see a red line. As you can see, there's a red line on the screen. We're going to do that for uh, the other lines as well, and you don't have to specify the color every time. If it's uh, the, the color you want, you don't have to specify it every time. It's going to be the same if we draw other lines. So let's just copy this like this. So we need uh, four lines, yes. So the first line we we'll draw it, and uh, the second line is going to be 
on the second on the second uh, like the width of the first cell and the width of the second cell so that would, would be 200 but we want it to be uh, almost uh, at the edge so it's going to be uh, 195 what this does is it's uh, because this uh, rectangle that we're filling is going to take space from both cells this uh, the second cell and the third cell because this is the its width is 10 so it's going this 10 is going to be is going to take uh, is going to be taken from the second cell and the cell after it uh, in here as well so this 10 is going to be taken from the this 5 so it's going to fill 5 pixels from the first cell and then 5 pixels from the second cell uh, or position so this will draw the second line this will uh, we're going to make it 0 because this this is the uh, horizontal lines and here we're going to make it 95 or 0 here 195 so let's try it and see. So there's a pro yeah yeah we didn't specify the height and width, so we have to change it here. So uh, the width here is going to be as wide as the screen as the frame is, but the height is going to be ten because this is hor horizontal lines. So now as you can see, there's this. Uh, uh, grid, but uh, if you see here, the the uh, this cell is not as big as this one, to, so everything is kind of not uh, rely not uh, consistent, and that's because uh, there's a problem, which is wait a minute. So uh, let's just run it again. So as you can see, this border of the frame is taking space too. So that's that's why this uh, drawing is not uh, full. So to to check to take away this uh, this border of the screen, we need to set something for the frame. So what you need to do is frame dot set and decorate it. So it's going to remove all the decorations or the border, the close button, the my the. Uh, Minimizing button, the full screen button, everything is going to be deleted when you set this to true. Okay, let's run it now. Now, as you can see, everything is uh, the same. Every uh, rectangle is the same size as the others, but we can't close this, so we need to add an option to close this uh, frame. So we can close it uh, for now from this uh, place here in the IDE, like this but uh, we need uh, the user to be able to uh, close it as well so what we need to do is uh, make the frame a little bit uh, taller in height so let's make it 350 and then we have to draw something else on the screen and when you click that thing we are going to close the program so we're going to create a mouse listener so whenever they we click that it's uh, when, when, whenever we click this area of the screen that we added the program is going to exit so to do that we need to add a mouse listener as I said earlier so let's just add a mouse listener to the frame frame dot add mouse listener what this does is uh, so a mouse listener is uh, is like um, a function that we set that listens to the mouse action so whenever we click move the mouse maybe release a button click uh, so each button we click on the mouse the mouse scenario is going to pick up and wh whatever we specify happens when that's the when uh, the mouse uh, when a mouse action happens is going to be done using the mouse listener so I hope that makes sense let's just do it and uh, maybe you will understand better so let's just create a new you create a mouse listener like this like I'm doing right now so add mouse listener new new yeah yeah new mouse listener and uh, if we did the uh, IDE create our um, mouse listener functions we're going to see all these things but we actually don't need all, every, all these lines so we're going to delete these lines. You have to delete them because, as you can see, this thro throws an exception 
whenever an action happens that we didn't specify uh, in this listener. So we're going to delete all that. We're going to only to use the functions that we need. So m there's mouse pressed, which uh, yeah, and there's mouse click too. So mouse pressed is so let's start from the top. Mouse clicked means the mouse is is pressed and then released at the same time. So at the same place. So this is the function that we're going to be using. This is other functions that are uh, like uh, when you press the mouse and don't release it, this will happen. Uh, whenever, we p even if uh, if you release it, it's this is going to happen whenever the mouse is clicked, and this is going to happen whenever the mouse is released. So it doesn't matter if it's c clicked. So whenever it's released, this is going to happen, and this is the what's going to happen when the mouse. Uh, okay, this uh, we're going to leave this for now. Let's just explain the mouse click. So whenever whatever I say here is going to happen. So first I want uh, to know where the mouse is. So we don't want it to be in. Uh, we don't want it to be in any place on the sc on the screen. So we want it to be in a specific place, which is this uh, place that we added. This 50 f pixels that we added. So if we run the program right now, as you can see, there's like this area. It's not uh, so visible because we didn't fill it with black. So let's fill it with another color, maybe red. Yeah, let's change this this to maybe blue, just to make the colors more appealing. And uh, we're going to create another rectangle which is red, which actually which means exit think that makes more sense color red and then we're going to fill a rectangle with uh, the x is 0 the y is 300 the width is 300 and the height is uh, 50 so this rectangle is going to be on the bottom of the screen the x is 0 so it starts from the edge of the of uh, the frame and the the y is 300 so it's going to be start uh, at the end of the grid but not at the end of the frame. So that's what we want. We want to start uh, filling this rectangle at the end of the grid so the grid doesn't... Uh, so the grid and this, in this rectangle don't intersect. And the width of this uh, rectangle is going to be at, as wide as the screen is. So it's 300 and the, w and the height of it is going to be 50 so it fills all that space that we added here. So if we run this right now as you can see there's a red rectangle like a long rectangle here and we want to uh, to uh, the program to exit whenever we click this rectangle so let's just close the program and we can specify like a uh, text on that rectangle later so it uh, it says like exit or something but for now we're going to leave it like that so here mouse click so we're going to create a new rectangle or we're going to make an if statement that uh, s w w through this if statement we're going to, s to see if the mouse is w on that rectangle that we want. So let's create a new rectangle that has the x and y of uh, and width and height of that uh, red rectangle which is 0, 300, 350 exactly like this rectangle and then we're going to see if this rectangle we're going to press dot uh, contains so what this uh, checks is it checks if the uh, certain point is contained in this rectangle and that point we're going to create a new point or we don't have to create a new point we just have to give it an x and y and uh, this rectangle class is going to check if that uh, x and y is contained inside this rectangle or if it intersects with this rectangle and that x and y is going to be the x and y of the uh, mouse so get x and just give it the other argument e dot get y so this is so this checks if the mouse when we click the mouse this checks if the, the mouse is on the rectangle the red rectangle on this on the frame so what we want uh, to happen when we do this is system exit. If uh, if you're a Java programmer, you would know that this closes the program, and we're going to leave that uh, zero like that. So run file. 
okay we're going to click it as you can see it exits now we have to draw the the grid on the screen so to do that we need to create a for loop a for loop inside the for loop this is also used in uh, drawing images if we don't have if we want to draw an image uh, without using that function that I showed earlier you can draw an image using the X's and Y's and the colors of each pixel using this uh, like this uh, uh, it doesn't relate to what we're doing right now but uh, just uh, it just used a lot in that constant so it's a for loop inside the for loop like this and we're what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to for we're going to loop through this array so grid the first array because we have two arrays grid uh, no wait a minute so int i or x is wait a minute no 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 let's not name them x and y so i is grid i is going through grid hold on a minute. yeah it's uh it's an array of ints so hold on a minute and then here we're going to loop through that uh, grid that, that uh, the array that we are on the i array so what we're going to do is int j and then we're going to loop through this i array which is the inner array of this grid it's not going to take a, m a lot of uh, it's not going to consume a lot of ram or cpu power because it's just like nine play nine elements in this whole array to the array or whatever so uh, what we want to do is draw something on the screen according to the uh, int value the integer value integer value so let's uh, make it let's create a switch or maybe we don't need switch so if the g is uh, hold on a minute but we need also to know the position of the uh, where we're drawing so yeah so we need the we need an int for the x and an int for the y so int x equals 0 and int y equals 0 and we're going to increase this every time we go through uh, a number we're going to incre increase the uh, the x every time and we're going to create the y every array so here we're going to increase the y every time we go through another new array we're going to increase increase it by 100 because that's the width and height of uh, our cell one cell and we're going to increase the x here every time we go through another number so x plus equals 100 as well and we're going to um, every time we go through a new loop we want the x to go back to zero so uh, okay here x equals zero and uh, let's go back where we were so in this if statement if the j which is the number inside the array this number is this choose so if it's uh, a, w a zero we're going to draw a no an uh, hold on a minute so let's just copy this we're going to draw a now and if it's a one we're going to draw an x and if it's n another none of that we're going to leave it so else if j is one so this is the only case that we draw stuff on the screen uh, when they, when uh, they happen so if j is zero we're going to draw a an O on the screen so to do that we either need an image or a text of just the letter O so let's do it with the letter O as a text 
so g dot draw string so we're going to draw a string that is uh, just an o and we also need to okay the x and y but the x and okay let's just uh, make this one and now and see what happens so as you can see nothing is kind it's nothing happening so the reason why that happened is because first the text is too small so let's just make it bigger by specifying the font so g dot set font new okay sorry about the font and let's just make this Arial, which is I think the default font and the style is going to be bold let's just make it bold and the uh, size is going to be big so maybe 50 uh, okay I removed the thing here okay so now let's and also you need to specify the color which is uh, already red so I think that will show on the screen okay so there's nothing showing up let's just go through our code so we're going through this one by one draw string x and y okay so the the way strings are being are, uh, are being drawn is not the same as the rectangles so in the rectangles they start on the uh, upper right corner but at the strings they start at the right corner but not the uh, the left corner also the rectangle starts at the upper left wait left yeah yeah left corner <laughs> uh, left corner uh, upper right left corner this is the rectangle but the string is at the left corner but not the upper so it's the and it's also not the lower it's actually uh, the lower left corner of the string itself that is being drawn so just to specify that let's just uh, increase maybe the y by uh, by 100 by 100 so now let's start try this as you can see the o is showing up so it's actually starting to draw from this point right here so this is the whole string this is the point that's going to be drawn so this is the x and y that we specify so because it's 100 as you can see 100 is exactly this uh, in at the um, center of this uh, line so it's starting from this point exactly which is a hundred and it's on the left so that uh, doesn't change uh, yeah so just exit this so this is like a little bit uh, confusing at times but we just need to find the right number so first of all the uh, the font is not big enough so let's just make it bigger maybe 70 and here it's not going to be a hundred it's uh, let's make it uh, maybe 80 let's try this okay so I think the Y business is done now we need the uh, to increase the X a little bit so the X is going to be plus 20 I think okay so uh, this may not be the perfect uh, way to draw x and y you can also draw it with an image with the higher co quality and centering so but well, so we just want to make things fast because i don't have an image of x and y and m making them i don't know that's uh, that's frustrating uh, that's frustration a little bit so let's just play around with this so yeah, yeah i forgot the x as well we need the x so if it's a one, I'm going to draw a next. Okay, hold on. So now let's just ch change the uh, grid and see what happens. So maybe this is O O O X and X. So let's just run this. As you can see, it's exactly like we specified in the grid and i think this is it for this video and in the next video i'm going to continue because this video is getting really long 35 minutes 
and in the next video i'm going to explain uh, i'm going to going to work uh, more with mouse listeners so whenever we click we want the game we want to play the game actually play the game not just not just draw it and exit and uh, it's really frustrating making this video because uh, obviously english is not my first language as you can uh, hear so it's uh, kind of uh, frustrating talking this language because it's hard to find the right words to describe what I want to do or what's happening uh, but I'm getting used to it I hope I can make more videos so uh, I can just make videos because I love making videos I uh, my first language is Arabic and I am um, love making videos at uh, my first language and I also want to create videos in English as well so sorry about my mistakes if I made any mistakes or uh, if you didn't understand some words or I know that sometimes I can't even like uh, like uh, say the my uh, like right, right now I can't say the idea that is my head so it's kind of frustrating and uh, but I keep doing it and I hope I can do it even more so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one